In a previous demo, I demonstrated what can happen without strong consistency. If you're writing to one node and reading from another, if strong consistency isn't available, your database can get into a really weird state. In the last demo, I compared CockroachDB against Redis, which doesn't need to support any kind of strong consistency. And in this demo, I'll compare CockroachDB to AWS Aurora. Here I have two databases. The top one is an AWS Aurora database in US East 1, and below is a Cockroach database in US East 1. In the same way that I compared Redis and Cockroach last time, I'm going to be using a simple bank account table. So there is a bank account ID and an amount, and the ID and the amount are the same for both databases. So let's leave those databases now and run some tests. As with the test last time, I'll be running a Go application with two threads, a write thread and a read thread. The write thread will write to the database and then signal by way of Go channel that the write has taken place and that a follow-up read needs to occur. So write thread writes to the database, publishes a notification and a read thread reads from the database. With strong consistency in place, I would expect that whatever I'm writing is exactly what I'm reading. I wouldn't expect the writes to become out of date with the reads. If, for example, I've just written the value one into the database, I would expect that when I trigger the read to occur, that the read would also read one from the database. If I read a value other than one, there's potentially a problem. If the value I read is higher than one, that signifies that a subsequent write has taken place and that's expected behavior for any database. If I read a value lower than one, that's problematic because that means the database isn't in a consistent state. I've written a value to the database and I've read an older value. The database hasn't replicated the data correctly. So let's start these two applications side by side. Because of CockroachDB's serializable isolation, I would expect writes to be slightly slower because it's having to replicate the data before committing. These writes are slow in both cases because I'm writing to the states and I'm waiting for it to complete before making a read, which I then wait to complete. So the whole thing is very slow. So we can see that the Aurora application has failed. I wrote the value 713 into the database. And by the time that I came to read the data out, the database was only aware of 712. This occurred in the Redis example that I demonstrated previously. And that's simply because Redis doesn't care about strong consistency because it doesn't need to. To summarize, AWS Aurora is eventually consistent. And there's nothing wrong with eventual consistency. It's a model that's used by many databases. But eventual consistency doesn't work for every use case. If your database needs to rely on guaranteed database state, eventual consistency breaks down. It doesn't provide those guarantees for you. CockroachDB, on the other hand, with its serializable isolation, does provide those guarantees. If I'm writing to one region and reading from another, I can guarantee that the database is always going to be in a consistent state. What I'm reading is exactly what I'm writing.